us again. I'm Gina. I'm Tina. And we're, we're stitching, stitching with, with the bestie. bestie. Well, we're back. And we are going to talk about our silver needle retreat experience. Yes, it was so much fun. It was so much fun that we've already looked up airplane tickets <laughs> for next year because we're not doing that drive again. <laughs> We left on Tuesday, Monday, 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 we left morning. On Monday morning, and we got home. We, well, we got, actually came home a day early because we were so. We left at six thirty in the morning and did not get to our hotel until eight o'clock at night. Now we did stop. That was on Tuesday. Monday. Oh yeah, on Monday Tuesday. we left at. Not, I left at nine to pick you up at nine thirty, and we didn't get to Shreveport until. Three or four in the afternoon. Yeah. She five. drove from Zachary <laughs> to Clinton. Then we drove to Shreveport. Then we got up Tuesday morning and drove to po Pahuska. Pah Pioneer Woman. Yeah. The Mercantile. The Mercantile. <laughs> and we also went to her uh, studio. Yeah. And oh, if I could have just got loose in that one room where she had, oh. <laughs> We're gonna put all the, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna show our haul. We're gonna show what we made. And then- Cause you took two finishing classes. Two finishing classes. Two and we are going to uh, then just all the f footage, the photos that we'll just put a slideshow on the end and you can just see from the Pioneer Woman, um, she will be after the Silver Needle. So if you're not interested in her, you can see the Silver yeah. Needle tons and tons of samplers in the store um and so that's pretty much it yeah but i can't say enough about the silver needle and the treatment i mean from the moment you walked into the store the staff the, so nice the greeting uh totally so prepared helpful. for the finishing class the only thing we didn't have scissors, enough scissors at each table. <laughs> so we made a hobby rock, lobby run and got some scissors on sale and just left them for them to do it forward for the next group. But other than that, I mean, it was perfect. Uh, Mona was our instructor yes. and she's the finisher at the Silver Needle. And we uh, had so much fun. She's oh, so sweet. She's so, so funny. funny and helpful. And um, we just had a great time. Then, uh, and during those two days, they had mailed us everything to sew in advance. The one thing that we both were not that happy about turned it out, turned it out. To be our favorite thing. <laughs> we had to do a pattern of a owl on an egg. It was a bit creek. Mm -hmm. And it was something that, I guess it's a series and they have different things on eggs. And um, it said, boo to you. Boo to you. And I just don't do Halloween. And, I don't really either. You know, I love fall. Yeah, I do too. So Tina actually stitched the egg. And when she was done, I didn't really want to do it. This so is the, the egg. She put a little button. But in I there. put a button down there. I was going to put my initial and I thought, why would an owl be on an egg with my initial? So I did that. And, and then I stitched a pumpkin Yay. on mine, and then I put these little picks. I made these with um, pins and just mm -hmm. little beads. And the back. And oh, I just love, we just loved this. This was our favorite thing, and neither she, one of us wanted to stitch it. She taught us how to uh, so. cut it down, how to finish it and put it on here, how to sew it together, and then how to do the ruching with the oh, yeah. ribbon. Just, mm -hmm. And to put it on a stick, and I went... When I was in Hobby Lobby, I saw the pumpkin and I said, well, so basically they had it on a cauldron mm -hmm. and you know, that's very Halloweenish. but she found this pumpkin and I thought it was so cute. Mine Love I'm just going to put in my little, with my little pillows and stuff for fall. I just so, thought it was so That cute. was one we made. Favorite one. Uh -huh. The next thing we did was we made a sewing needle I guess it's a needle roll. Or needle a roll, sewing roll. Sewing roll. Yeah. I don't know what it was called. But we learned know. how to. Um, made a pin cushion. We open this up, and inside we have a pin cushion and we have a, a scissor fob. Which and I, she said that this. on the bottom, if you wanted to put a little piece of cardstock, you could actually hide um, a needle in there. A needle so in there. So what you do is you. Can pull it up and down. Mm -hmm. You can hide your needles. 
So I thought that was cute. Yeah. And I have. And I really enjoyed this. this with two. We did this, which is your for your scissors here. Um, and there was this ruler. Yeah. And it was. Yeah. It was okay. I thought it'd be nice if you want to measure your like. And it was a, a four inches, and it would be hanging there. But I have two little pockets here, and they provided everything for yeah. the finishing yeah. class, yeah. and um, it turned out nice. I mean, it was fun. They did everything, even when we had the um, stitching lounge on Friday night, they brought a sewing machine. And if you wanted to bring this mm -hmm. up there, they would finish it there for you. I mean, there wasn't anything that these people did not do for us there. And the owner, her name is Lindy. And when I show the, um, add the photos, I will note who Lindy is, the owner. She's been in business there for 35 years. And, uh, just sweetest, sweetest people. And um, this is another thing that we made, was this little slice of watermelon. And mm -hmm. I didn't quite finish mine. You have to put, I need to put the pipe, the ribbon around it. Mm -hmm. But I haven't got around oh, to it. Oh, we have that. one more. And then there's one more thing. Oh, this. Oh yeah, this was oh. one of my other favorite things that she's gonna show. But anyways, you just put the ribbon around here to finish it. I just haven't got around to doing it. We stitched a I'm little. much slower than everybody else about finishing my stuff in the class. I don't think I finished everything. <laughs> um, I'm like kitten stitcher. What is it called? Wasabi? Where it's kind of, eh, it doesn't have to be perfect. This was the next, we learned how to make a box. Now oh, my yeah. ribbon got smashed on the way. <laughs> the trip home. The trip home. But the good thing we, is, is that uh, you can uh, change out the ribbon. Yeah, this, you know. she gave us the material. Everything was cut out, and actually, I think my bowl. Oh, I put my brick sideways. Oh, oh well, <laughs> goes along with my house with the uneven windows. <laughs> but you can take this ribbon off. You can remove this ribbon, um, and then you have the box. Showed us how to make that, and, and then the front. Now yeah, it's right. That is, but now the bottom's over here. Remember how one uh, side of it, I know, but isn't that neat? We can spin it. Okay. Sorry, probably made somebody sick. It says, love lives here. And uh, they taught us how to uh, finish it, put this little uh, chenille fabric around it, and then do it. the so washer cute. on the back and the magnets, just like Priscilla has taught half of the cross-stitch world. And you can just change this out. Yeah. Just use this one box and it's ready for and just year change, round. Just put different mm -hmm. ribbons on it. And change the ribbons. But that, that was, was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was really probably was. my favorite, one of my favorite finishes to do there too. Yeah, so that I think was those two, the owl um, and that one was my favorite one. And like we said, everything was pre cut, pre measured, ready to go, bagged up nicely, and um, given to us. And Mona was a fabulous, fabulous <laughs> instructor. She was. She really was. Uh, then that was Wednesday and Thursday were the yeah. afternoons were the classes. Then Thursday, Thursday night, night we stitched. At, uh, we, oh, the Wednesday night we had the, the stitch stitch at lounge hotel. at our hotel, the Hyatt. So we did that. It's, it was open till eleven o'clock at night. Just a note: <laughs> the Hyatt was very nice. It was clean. The breakfast was great. Yeah. The, it, if you sign up free for the Hyatt membership or become whatever your breakfast is free and it was a great breakfast however there were four of us four four and we're healthy girls <laughs> her sister's not so healthy and the other one wasn't yeah she's not real healthy either but anyhow healthy she means big bone <laughs> got some grits on it <laughs> some junk in the trunk or whatever they say anyhow um when I made the reservations, I thought it was for two queen size beds so that we could each Bye. have two in a bed. After this 16 hour drive and sweating <laughs> everywhere and getting into our room, we opened the door and it was two full size beds. Full size beds. So we, a full size couch. So um, we took turns. 
I took turns sleeping with different people. <laughs> I slept on the fold out couch the whole time. We tried to get a bigger room, but all they have are full size beds. So yes. if four of you decide to go, get two, two rooms. rooms. <laughs> but the rooms were yeah, it was nice. one hundred and eight dollars was... each, and they comped us one room. I mean, they they did a great job. So that's just our experience on that. But we definitely would stay. We'll stay at the Hyatt again. It was right within driving distance I mean, of everything. Minutes, Tons, yeah. yeah. Restaurants, Hobby Lobby. Hobby the stitching Lobby. store, Hobby Lobby. <laughs> We've the stitching a couple store. Of Hobby Lobbies. <laughs> yeah. So um, anyway. Um, and then Thursday night we went, they had dinner. They served us. Um, oh, it was so good. The food, they, that was uh, the Asparagus best. and a salad and desserts and yeah. uh, sangria. We had pork, didn't we? Or pork. Brisket. No. No, it was it was like um, pork roast. Yeah. Anyway. It was very it was good. Delicious. And that we just had a great time that night when we went in. Um, and then that, that was the night that um, we met, met the designers on Thursday night. Yeah. And they actually gave us gifts that night. And the designers that we met were Bent Creek which and were uh hand hearts and hands. hearts and hands hearts and hands hearts and hands and we got this little bag presented to us with our names and candy and um our badges pins and then this is a little mesh bag from there that we can use um you picked out your table you were set up they had plenty of outlets the area was lit big um, the layout was great. I they had the round tables, and they were like um, six to a table. Six to a table. Um, there and were they 24 were 24 tables. Mm -hmm. I so, think there was like 120 something yeah, people there. Some people had seven because they wanted more people to sit with them. Mm -hmm. Some people only had five. So it ended up kind of being, being evened out that way. Yeah. And it was not crowded. You weren't like mm -hmm. on top of each other. You had plenty of room. To put stuff beside you, plenty to of get space you, to, get to out work. Of your chair to walk between the tables, because I've been to other retreats, not stitching retreats, but just retreats in general. And sometimes they just pack you in, mm. and um, you just can't even. You have to climb over people and things and chairs. Yeah, not and, good. So we were really. Um, we had a there. wonderful night that night. We were really excited about um, the weekend, and then. Friday morning. I'm. I'm not going to. Well, let's talk about Friday night, about Thursday night, and what we got. The two, two things we got that night. Did we get? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah we got yeah. Um, two two gifts that night. One from Heart and Hand, and one from um, Bent Creek. Which one did we get? So which? this was Bent Creek, and this was Heart and Heart and Hand. Was a well, this small was Bent one. Creek this too. One. That was the next this day. This small one. Okay, this one. So you have no this one. This no. I have it. Okay. So this is what we oh, got. Yeah. From, I've got this one. This is what we got from Heart and Hand. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time I ever stitched on linen. Mm. So this was the pattern they gave us. Com so cute. Complete with everything. Came with all the stuff. The wool, the fabric, the yarn, the, the buttons, uh, embellishments, everything. And, uh, this is my stitching in hand that I did. I mean, I'm sorry, I did it on a hoop, but on linen. So that's the first time I ever stitched on linen. I was so excited that I could actually do it. I couldn't believe I could do it. This was my first time, you but did great. I don't know what I did with that little middle part, but this was <laughs> my, <laughs> I'm having a little struggle, but, um, so this has actually convinced me. I got I bought a light with a magnifier mm -hmm. and it actually convinced me that I can stitch on linen. No, it's not as fast as, as Ada. And no, I probably won't do everything, but there's a few samplers I've been wanting to do and I think I want to stitch them on linen. And these are the lights. These oh my gosh. Lights. It's like a light um, are it's called the it. company is daylight it's called the halo. halo magnifier and it folds down flat it's so easy and it's got it is not battery operated you do have yeah. to plug it in uh but it's got two levels of light 
the head rotates. This, you could set it like this on oh, your table like and work amazing. from it. And then I mean, here's the magnifier. The magnifier right here. is there, and it's got the cover that. I mean, it was like yeah. the difference between. And it's got that little that the one right here that is the ultra uber magnifier. Uh, I know this comes in two different magnifications, and I'm not sure which one I have, but I know that it works. Well, I just ordered the new one, and I think it's eight times. I think it's more magnified okay. than that one. Um, I don't know where oh, you yeah. see it at, but um, I just, I had bought one, mm -hmm. and um, it was, something was wrong with it, so I had it to was, it. Everybody so at our table it. had one. I mean, yeah, they so bought every one that they had in the store. <laughs> So, so that, that was one of the first thing we got, and, that was, and then that was from Heart and Hand, mm -hmm. and then we got this from um, Bent Creek. Bent Creek, and this was so cute. It really is. And cute. these were all made exclusive for the Silver Creek, I mean the Silver Needle Retreat, and, and it it's is got the all the, the all the little box, all the stuff to make it with. We were so excited. Yeah, and I mean they went to the point where. Uh, they put the ring in there. They labeled everything. They had the thread in there. I mean, they did. You just felt so special, like you were just really being spoiled uh, there. And but that was Thursday night. Thursday night. Then Friday morning when we came in, we had a gift on our table. Yes. We had. Where did we get our bags? We got. This, uh, I have a photo that I took, and this was on Thursday. Thursday. Now, this is a Vera Bradley bag, and it was folded up. It's the, um, it's plastic. It's not really plastic. It's vinyl. like a vinyl like, uh, canvasy canvas. I mean, yeah. And it also had several bags inside of it. it just wasn't. Yeah, this there size. were there like, were like five bags, three or four three. different. Well, four or five different yeah. sizes. So, yeah. I mean, it really was nice to put all your yeah. stuff in. Oh, it was we wonderful. We definitely used it on the oh, way home to pack yeah. our stuff in. <laughs> it was amazing how we... And then when we came in, let's do these first. Okay. We had on our table a box. And everybody had, they were all exactly the same. So, that was hers and this was mine. And in it, we had a mug. Coffee. And a panel yeah. that matched. To make fabric, posters. To make posters out of. So that Is was that kind not of fun. Too cute. Something different. And I love mine. Mine reminds me of like almost Starry Starry, starry Night. Nine. Like this right here. Oh my gosh, that's everything. <laughs> and it's got a little mermaid and um, it just was fun. Um, they had, you know, I think a three or four different ones on our table. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we really were excited about that. Yeah, you just came in and you had all that. Then there was Stitchy Shelly uh, made these needle rolls for everybody there. Yes. And just everybody got so one of these. You can put your needles there. in here and then you can just fold them up and take them with your um, project. And we have one other thing. <laughs> This is all that's left of mine because my favorite oh, yeah. thing is that <laughs> we ate it. <laughs> shortbread cookie. We, we had, had cookies. One smart cookie donated a cookie. You'll see that on the video, but it was the bird and the heart, so that it was Bent Creek. It was both yeah, of them and combined. It was like they were all different colors. And it was, it was so, so good. good. It really. Was. I know. I would have wanted to go around and ask people if they <laughs> did with a cookie. Yeah, I, your cookie. I actually gave her part of my cookie because I, I felt bad She felt bad because she knows it's my favorite. Um, um, that, so what that, about the bag we got? This bag here. Did we get Yeah, that? we got this on Thursday too. Uh, they called somebody up and gave them uh, an award and then they did the Oprah and they said, and you get one and, and you, you get, get one, one and you get one. And so we all got one too. We love it. So everybody there got this bag and this was from both of the designers and there's room in here. There's room on each side and then it's um, a big bag on the inside. Yeah, so. Stitch, nice stitchy bag. I put stuff in mine already, so. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, we're shaking the Ooh, camera. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> um, then what else did we get? Um, on Friday. On Friday. 
We got this. Well, I know at some point we, we came Friday. back another time. I and think that was Saturday. Was this Saturday? This is Saturday. Okay, this is Saturday. This is what we got on Friday. Okay. Something it's kind of like okay, she, and then we got Saturday. She would it was she did Friday and she did Saturday, okay. And okay. then we got this Saturday, too, right? Ooh. So, um, then on Friday, um, Heart and Hand, she's she spoke, she talked, you know, uh, shared about her business, and then she also gave us a, uh, another pattern, and we worked on that on, on um, Friday. And this was exclusive for the silver needle retreat and like all the stuff in the back that she even gave us the ring to put the linen on. everything it's labeled in bags um linen so yep. and then i actually stitched again on linen so this is my second attempt at linen i did make a mistake on here and i gotten all the way around with the bee and was and i had like went over one too many up here so i had to rip out so but I was excited that I actually could stitch on I mean, this was all just free. Well, we paid to go to the retreat, but, but this we- This all the gifts we got. They were all, these were all the gifts that we got. Um, Saturday, when we came in, we had <clears throat> this, this on our table. Quilted, A very badly, <laughs> big, Tote. huge tote. I mean, huge, beautiful. I, I couldn't believe that they gave us that. It's exciting. Um, yes, it was. <laughs> and it matches our other bag. And we also, um, at some point in the morning, they gave us this little, it's got the paper and inside of it, it had a couple needles. And they gave us this, um, Silver pattern. pattern, a pattern. Can you? Well, it was free, so you can't yeah. show that. Okay. Um, and it was. It's just a little needle book. Yeah, it was just a little stitch needle it on book. Per, it's perforated paper. And then and we got this. Uh, this was from Bent Creek. And by that time, I said I cannot start another linen project, so <laughs> I did not stitch on this one that day. But look <laughs> at this. It's look for the beauty in everything. And they shared their story and it's sisters. It was Sissy and of course I can't think of her name. <laughs> their stories were amazing and they shared their uh, family photos and how their business started and how they partnered with. Um, and all the stuff that yeah. came in the kit. It's got the stuff to make those flowers. Um, all the thread and the linen. It was just so... I mean, they were so helpful. They said, if you want me to come to the table and help you, I will help you make... Yes, oh. it was so exciting. The buttons mm -hmm. are in there for the... Yep. To put in the middle of the flowers. Each yep. of the flowers has a button. Have I got that upside down? I did. And then they gave us... This was... I am not the needle minder person, but this was... It made me think of the 70s. I guess that's <laughs> why I liked it. Was this we each little. got a little button. And it's a button, but they gave us everything to make it and turned it into a needle minder. And it's a good size. Ooh, my hands are getting old. Anyway, <laughs> they gave us that. And then Sissy, uh, designed by Marsha Worley, AKA Sissy was her name. Uh, she had this really cute button bracelet on and she gave everybody Everything you a need pattern to make a button. To make the button. And then to help us, they gave everybody there a ruler so that it would be able, we'd be able to make that. And um, did we get anything? Well, and the food, we had uh, skirted steak and chicken uh, tacos with um, guacamole, oh, man, slaw, I don't even, it was just and so much. The next day it was these wonderful sandwiches with roast beef. They had it catered. Um, and then in the morning you would have any kind of chips and snacks and fruit. nuts and fruit. And then every afternoon they came around and gave us ice, ice cream, cream bars <laughs> or um, the Nutty Buddy bars. And I mean, it was- It was, and then soft drinks. And then Water, they were the wine. everybody that well, was sangria, working they there one night. would come by, pick up your plates, empty them for you. They were never um, 
they just went above and beyond. Yeah. You know, so for our first retreat, oh, way more than we expected. I just couldn't believe everything that we were given. Um, so now, are you ready for the haul? <laughs> now we're going to show you what we got at the Silver Needle. Yeah. We, now. We went there every day. <laughs> couple times. <laughs> I did not go the last day, even though I everybody did. said, you're going to go. I said, no. If I'd have caught up with you, I would have went. <laughs> you <laughs> snuck out without me. Okay, who wants to go first? Um, I'll go first. Okay. At All this right. point, our husbands need to turn off the <laughs> floss tube. Just shut it down right now. Now, you okay, can go. so um, I had this pattern. I brought it with me, the Feast of Friendship by mm. Blackbird Design, because I want to stitch this for Thanksgiving this year. And so I brought all the thread. And oh my gosh, when I found these threads, mm -hmm. they were so beautiful together. I mean, just look at that. Is that not just gorgeous? Mm. I just love it. And my very favorite, I think, is this old purple paint. Oh. And, of course, I love the mulberry. I mean, I just mm -hmm. love it all. It's just yeah. all so pretty. It is. So it's that's going to be... Is that the cloth you're doing it on? Um, this is what I had picked out before. It's, um, let's see, it's sand, Ada, for, it's uh, 14 count. So that's what I'm planning, unless I decide to do it on some linen, which... I don't mm. think I will. I think I'll just do it on that because mm -hmm. I want to get it done by Thanksgiving. Um, then I bought this and I bought this for my, I fell in love with this and thought my son, my daughter, she's done, you know, I bought things for my, my grandson's room, my youngest grandson, and she's doing the one, I love you to the moon and back. And I just love this one. It says, I love you to the moon and back and more than all the stars in the sky. And it's got the embellishments mm -hmm. and stuff. It was so pretty finished. Woo. So let me right. see if I can do it this way so you can actually see what it looks yeah. like. But it's got the embellishments and everything. So I texted her and shut a picture and she loved it. So that's going to be his little birth sampler. And um, another thing I bought was from Shakespeare's Peddler, mm -hmm. the Sweet Temper Sampler. It's hard to see it through this paper, but I haven't taken it out of the package yet. Can you see that? Yeah, I think so. So I thought it was really pretty. It says, let your temper be as sweet as a daisy is at your feet. Be as gentle, be as mild as a modest, humble child. And then it has on here, Jesus wept. And I loved it because of that. But see, look at this little cat. <laughs> is that the calico cat? No, this is another oh. one. She fell in love with this one I got. has a calico cat on it. I love that thing. So this is the one she was talking about. It's called... Oh, uh, it's Keep Home in Your Heart, and it's by Chessie and me. It's really cute. Look at that. I gotta take this out of the package. You've got to see this see cat. This. And I'm a dog person, not a cat person, but this is the stinking cutest cat ever. See that little calico cat? Oh. So cute. And if somebody could comment, um, if you watch this, would it be illegal for me to just take that cat off of there? Why would it be illegal? I don't know. I mean, would I be stealing? You're just stitching a little part of something. Okay. All right. And then this is called, um, from Lottie Dog, called Humble and, Com Humble and Kind. Mm-hmm. And see if I can get it out of the package. Sorry for all the crinkling. I like crinkling. I'm weird. I don't like the shine, but I love to hear crinkling. But I thought it was so pretty. Mm-hmm. And I love anything with an alphabet. Do you remember Romper Room? <laughs> mm-hmm. I used to love on Romper Room when they'd say, we're going to do a craft now, and they would cut the <laughs> card for the construction paper. I used to love that sound. And then here's mm -hmm. another heart in hand that I saw that um, I just mm -hmm. love. It says, count your blessings, stitch them one by one. And I just am obsessed with sheep right now. Yes. I love sheep. I think sheep. that's a new one, wasn't it? Yeah, this is one of her new ones. Yeah. And look at the little baby lamb. Oh, it's so and cute. And the quilting across them. I just love everything about it. They them. also set up a little um, shopping area for us in there. And they had the um, 
models. Heart and hand, yeah. yeah. Let she me see your that measuring thing that you bought, the one, two, three, the no this next right here. Yeah. Okay. I am just gonna show you this because I did not know how this works. And there <laughs> might be one other person out there who doesn't know how this works. But if you notice we both bought these and they have um three inches two and a half inches and two inches and they said it's to help you start your put your put yeah. it where you want it well i now you know do it on here yeah you can or what would have helped me is you see how much extra fabric i have on here because i was just thought that's what i'd need actually if i just wanted three inches around there I would have started right there, yeah. up there, and mm -hmm. look how much fabric I would have saved. So, yeah, because I mean everything's changed from when we so were. Take it out. I was stitching back in the day in the eighties, and I I got this because I always start in the um, top left corner, and I always leave three inches on each side, so then I don't have to. And usually I have to count. I have to count from you know the middle over and over to find my to find my thing unless I just get a measuring tape and measure. But that way I know to all, I Look at the color of that fabric. So that would Beautiful. be where I would start would be right there. So this is the piece of linen I got to stitch this pattern on. This is the last thing I bought because I thought today I was not going back to the store on, on Saturday, but mm -hmm. I loved this pattern. Give thanks. Who's it by? It is by Hands On Design, and it's called Give Thanks. And I got, I couldn't find any fabric that color, but I just fell in love with this Did that linen. come out of their little bin? No, um, I had, it wasn't a remnant. Okay. But they had to cut it for me. I mean, I, she didn't cut it very straight. Look at that. <laughs> but it'll do. It's fine. They and do so, have a remnant bucket that the, they'll let you, because we told them we were yeah, interested. Yeah, I have some remnants I'm going to okay. show them. This is um, a couple, two of the colors out of, there's only four colors at all in here. And the other one was monkey grass and apple cider. And I just didn't feel like where they had it, it needed mm. um, that color. So I'm just gonna use um, some DMC for those colors. Cause the green, if you look at the green and the um, browns, you really don't get that much variegation in mm -hmm. there. So I got the, you know, the, um, I think that's oatmeal the oatmeal and I got the um, blackboard to do the less, the letters and then the rest I'll do in DMC. But I'm looking forward to starting that for Thanksgiving. So that's a couple of Thanksgiving patterns I need to get done. Mm -hmm. and oh, you're putting everything so nice and neat over there. Then I bought this little thing oh, so cute. because I don't know why, but because it's a cat, it's a little. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the back of him. Isn't it cute? It's a little, it's got a little ruler and then on the back, it's got this little etching. Oh, so cute. Who found that for you? Tina. <laughs> At the checkout. I don't even know what it's used for. I guess to measure. <laughs> to measure. I bought it because it was cute. <laughs> I just liked it because it was a cat. <laughs> I'm if they had a dog, I would have probably bought the dog. So. Okay. And then, let's see. I've done all this, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I got this one. I want to stitch this. I stitched um, Lizzie Kate's, um, which I need to bring next time to show y'all. The alpha, uh, Lizzie Kate's um, Good Marriage. And then I want to stitch this for my bedroom. I stitched that for my husband. Cook and it I wanna, There you go. I want to stitch this to go with it. In our bed. So pretty. So That's yeah, I just fell in love with this. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was really cute. And the last thing I have are these little um these were um remnants of of um linen, linen just so I can try some stuff on them. I mean this was three dollars and forty seven cents. Here was four dollars and ninety five cents. Yeah. So I thought I would try. This one is um thirty six count. And I think this one's 32 can. So I thought I would try stitching something small. Just and I've only been on. to one L&S since the 80s. So when I went down to New Orleans, I, I don't remember any of our other L&S's having a remnant basket that you could go through mm -mm. and pick up. And back then all we saw was Ada. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Not a lot okay, are you done? Them. One more thing. <gasps> I did get a oh, mill yeah. mill. And it's a little nativity. 
So I'm excited. So, Finally full kit. Yep. Yeah. So that's it. Okay. Well, I'm going to start. <laughs> I'm going to start off with something. Um, this was a pocket watch. I saw it in the shop somewhere um, with a stitching in it. And it was a pocket watch. You can get these at Walmart. Um, Tim Holtz, not Walmart, Hobby, Hobby Lobby, Lobby or Ooh. Michaels. Hobby, yeah, it's a pocket watch from Tim Holtz that um, is, you can open up and put something in it. And when I was shopping, I think I only kept out one. They had these, these are stickers, not cards. Remember mm -hmm. I gave you, they were little stickers. And they had these little tiny stickers of samplers. Cute. And um, I bought one and I love jewelry, as you can see. So I, you can pop the back out of the pocket watch and put something in it, whatever you want. I was gonna stitch something, but when I saw that, I said, I could put that in there. Cute. So I just, um, if you, again, or were a scrapbooker, this was the <laughs> Creative Memories. Um, it was perfect for the one and a half inch. Anything you have, as long as you, when you put it in, you can see in the bottom where it is, whoop, that you're punching. Uh, just move it around like, what do they call that? Fussy cutting kind yeah. of where you want to put it. But I just thought that was so cute and I can swap it out and I just put it on a little chain cute. and um, I loved it. So, and that was super easy to do. So that was my first, one of my little purchases. The next thing I got was, um, I had to be kind of selective on this because they had bowls and they had um, pen keeps and they had, oh, so much to choose from. But this was um, from Cottage Garden and it was in um, ivory. It's a treasure box. And I really liked this. I thought it was pretty. And it's I want to really stitch pretty. something. Look at that, how beautiful. Yes, it mm -hmm. is. And then you can just... Does not even do it justice. No. If you saw it, it in person. So pretty. But I want to take it out and I want I mean, to put like, something... it's more of a cream and it looks more white on here, but it's, it's yeah, so It's a pretty. beautiful color. Really but is. anyway, I got that. I want to stitch something. When I put something in it, I'll show you. Oh, by the way, look what I found. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. The bathroom <laughs> in this place. I couldn't figure out, I mean, they had two bathrooms in there, but everybody kept using that one. And sometimes they closed the door and sometimes they didn't. And I just thought maybe they had to go really bad. I couldn't close the door and did not know that all of the models in there were for sale. So, and I just noticed that, but I did, I did that. Okay. It wasn't like that. But I have one of those little pencils that you can cover up. But I bought this model and it's on so linen cute. and it's got a little button on it. I love the saying and um, it's framed and it has the little bumpers on it and it's just gorgeous. So I bought that. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it, but I wanted it. It's really, really pretty. It is, they did a great stitch. I love this, the flower here, mm -hmm. it's so pretty. The next item I bought is called Circle and Stitches. Um, by localfarmgirl.com and everything that you need but scissors, straight pen, and iron. It makes this little um, pin cushion. It's a pin cushion kit. Ooh, I don't know if you can see it really well. But everything came in it that you will need and it's got wool. Um, and I wanted to try to do that so uh, I'm cool. It's got everything. Needles, yes. wool. So that was one of the things that I bought. I bought some uh, Lady Dot Creates and uh, Fiber on a Whim. I loved this. Mm -hmm. So pretty. And I don't do Mardi Gras. Live in Louisiana, <laughs> don't do Mardi Gras, but that's beautiful spring colors, Mardi Gras. And this was called Bird's Nest. And I just thought that was oh so prim, the colors in it, so pretty. I hope that's in the middle. 
Are they seeing what we're seeing? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's scary. Then I I love these little things. You always see oh, Priscilla or a lot of people put and they put those little charms and things. This is made with love. I don't know if you can see them. Little heart. But they're on it's on both sides. Yeah, let me take one out and show it to you. Because I know a lot of times, you know, you'll fiddle with something because it won't show on the right side. Well, this is on both sides. I thought that was really cute. So it's just a little heart and just sew it on things. I think it's so cute. I bought a um, pack of those too. They also had uh, color and cotton partnered with them. They chose to use their threads for the weekend the designers did well, actually just for those the first the night. first okay yeah those first two kits that we showed you had color and cotton thread and and they fabric. had a um cart that had a lot mm -hmm. on it so silver needle had like a big huge trunk full of their um linen and their ada that was mm -hmm. hand dyed it was so, really beautiful fabric. i bought three and um this is 16 count um smoke and it, the modeling is gorgeous on it it's it really a is. 13 by 17 piece and these two are ada one is pistachio and this one is ada soft too. uh apricot it doesn't really look apricot it's more pink. oh those are 18 count yeah these are both yeah. 18. um but i got those uh, my cottages, I think I'm going to do those really on those. Nice. Um, then I got the same one, you know, because <laughs> we can't borrow when we want to <laughs> board or something. I don't know. <laughs> my son and daughter-in-law raise, um, they have a deer farm. And they are in the process of just finally finishing, I think, like 15 babies they've been feeding. And I'm allergic to them. I, I helped <laughs> feed the first year they had them, but then I I can't be around them. But I got a Mill Hill um, kit cute. to do um, for Christmas. Very cute. And I love the colors, and it'll look really pretty. So I wanted to get that. That made me think of them. Um, so I got that for them. Um, this... <laughs> It was a little, they have a club, and I forgot which club it was for, but it was in my garden, and you get the little sort of pail, and um, this was a blackbird design in my garden, mm -hmm. and look how cute, it's a, is that a drum roll, no, yeah. what's that called? A drum. A drum. Um, and I love that. And it came with linen. You know I'm going to be borrowing this. I know. Look at that. <laughs> Gorgeous. And it has everything in it. So I bought the kit. Cute. Um, and we keep going. <laughs> I bought Fear Not Needle Roll. Oh, I just love this. Um, look how pretty. And it's from Shepherd's Bush, and it has everything with it. I really like how they kit everything together. Shepherd's Fold Part 5. Um, and this... Look, the little lamb's on it. Oh, man. <laughs> I just thought this was so cute. It's called Miss Polly's Horn Book. And if you look at it, this is how they would teach them. They would give them these little, this was their book that would have like their, a like a paddle that would have their ABCs on it. And that was what they would hold and study from. So I thought I would try to say, uh, stitch on some linen, little tiny ABCs and put that on there. It also came with the cord that goes around it. And um, Cute. I just thought it was adorable. I'll put it away. Thank you. Yeah, because we're just going on and on. This was a piece of linen. They gave me this, I want to say, for like $2. Um, I couldn't believe it. It was a price. remnant, yeah. Yeah, it was a remnant. I meant to bring, if you collect any kind of spools or industrial bobbins or anything, look at this. This is by Thistles. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. 
I'm going to change the wording in the bottom and um, kind of change it up a little bit. But look at this. It's a Christmas tree, and that's an industrial bobbin spool mm -hmm. from, and you put that in there and you stand it up and it looks like a Christmas tree. Cute. Is that not too cute? Anyway, got that. Then I got Bluebird Garden, a pretty garden finial, and it's from Artful Offerings, and I want to so that look how gorgeous I think it's finished like a little um pillow love it uh, then i got i got more than you didn't i <laughs> oh they had these i just loved them this was a hand towel and they had them finished if i'm not mistaken you're gonna iron the design on and it comes with everything that you need to finish it in here, the rick rack, the yaw, the floss and everything. And it's gonna say land that I love. And uh, behind me here, I have, my husband has his grandfather's old um, wash stand where he would shave. And I'm gonna, I didn't have anything for the 4th of July season. So I'm gonna put that up there. I really oh, like that. Cute. Then I got another piece, and this was for $6. It was a nice, fairly nice piece of linen um, on sale that I got. And I got, oh, from Shakespeare's Peddler, Sarah Woodham, 1770. Oh, I love her. And I'm sure Cheers. everybody's seen that. And I got, did you get this one? Shakespeare's Peddler, Mercy Goodheart Sampler. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love the town. I love everything about it. The bird. Ooh. That was the only copy they had of it. Oh, I'm sorry. That's did okay. I get it? You can borrow <laughs> it after me. Uh, from Hand and Heart, I got you. Heart and Hand. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm dyslexic. She got it bottom of the top. <laughs> uh, ye old crow sampler. Oh, isn't that pretty? I am just all about crows. I don't know why. <laughs> um, and then I heard Nicola talking one time from um, Hands Across the Sea samplers, and she said if you're going to start one of her samplers this would be the one to start to break you in. And this is Mary Clayton, an English schoolgirl sampler. And listening to her tell the story oh, about it. Oh, so I love, I love that house. Um, but she said it's very, and I love how, I can show that. Yeah. On the back, how she has the um, threads with the symbols all right so there. Pretty. And the history that she puts into these, and I mean, they're expensive, but the color charts and they're gorgeous. So, um, and this was new from Heart in Hand. My soul is fed with needle and thread. We both got one of those. Oh yeah, love that. That's so cute. Cute, cute. <laughs> And then I got another Mill Hill. And what I liked about this was they had, this is the um, Christmas Village. It's the Country Church. And it is actually on perforated paper. perforated paper. But next to it, they would have a basket that had fabric that you could go through and get something that you wanted. So I was going to put that mm -hmm. on there. I thought that was really yeah. cute. Oh my gosh, how much did I buy? Am I getting close? Okay. Oh, well, this, that should be the last one I show. This is Stacy Nash Primitive. Seek goodness, pen keep, drum, and strawberry. And it's got the drum and the strawberry. And I love that. They had drums, drums all around there. So cute. Then I got this, you will see a photo of. I took a picture of it and it's the American flag quilt sampler. One nation under God with liberty and justice for all. 
and they have it in the order, and it's by um, Rosewood Manor. In the order of what? It's in the order that the states the became. states became. Yeah. Into the as they came into as the they union. came into the union. Is it the union? Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't do so good in school. I wasn't Tina always was there. there. We all admired this. Tina was the only one brave enough to think she could do it. <laughs> well, you know, I really, I wouldn't do the days like everyone else, but on Sundays, I want to start on the Savior's Praise and work that until I'm finished. Then on Mondays, as soon as my um, roll comes in from Holland, I want to start working on that, the band sampler. Mm -hmm. And then I might pick one more day to where I work on that, or since there's, I don't know. I'll, I don't think you're a monogamous situation. I'm anymore. not. This is new beginnings. <laughs> this, oh, 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 I, you can't believe how beautiful this was, but it's the whole thing. I know some of y'all are out there going to just flip, but it's French and colonial knots. And C <laughs> Cecilia from Heart and Hand sat down at the table and let me video her while she did it. But look at this. This is by Sweet Harmony by Teresa Langman Designs. Oh, it was beautiful if you saw that in person. Oh, I just mm, fell out on the floor right there. Had to have it. Don't even know how to make the colonial knot, but I said well, I can. I can you do have this. A video of it now. You and then finish. after I finished my haul, oh, I did have one more. That where's my little? Um, that was my favorite. Oh my! Some of my stuff fell out over here. Oh gosh! I got so much falling on the floor. I got a little cute little um, ort ort thing. I don't know where it went. went. But it's over there somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway. I'd like to show that to you later. Yeah. I bought the sewing bird. Now, we have to have a sewing bird since we crossed it. Isn't that cute? I love the thread hanging out of his mouth. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this was another Mill Hill. I really got hung up in that corner. Uh, it's the nativity. It's called Silent Night. I almost bought that. And it's got everything with it. Have I ever done one of these? No, but I figure <laughs> other people do it. I could do it. I finished my Stacy Stace. Say it. Stacy Nash. Mm -hmm. Primitives Animal Cracker Crumb Series, and I got Oliver. He's now so she has cute. them all. I want to just put them all in a bowl and just sit and play with them <laughs> sometime. Um, this was a heart and hand. It was part one, two, and three. And they don't have a photo of it completely finished, but I have all three parts. We could show them one at a time. Yeah, the first, show that one, first. one, one of three. Well, that's part three of three. Here's one of one. It's got the, uh, it's called Glad and Sincere, Sincere Hearts. And it has the little center. So that's, that's the centerpiece. The centerpiece. Here are the next two pieces. And then here's the And outside. say they broke bread in their homes and they ate together with glad, sincere hearts. I love that. It's hard to see in that plastic. Yeah. Is that in, in there? I think so. Yeah, you can see it. Okay, then after that haul, I saw this the last. If I would have seen this to begin with, I know I wouldn't have bought nearly as much. <laughs> it says live within your harvest <laughs> but look how cute it has the lady dots it's got everything you need and i really was all about the pin cushions and that's hands-on design and that's hands-on design yeah cute really cute yep so that that was put our a fork in it i'm done hard. that was our silver <laughs> yeah um we had a blast. We shopped. We stitched. We made good friends. Yeah, we met um, people. We, it was just so much fun. And, and if the, you get a chance to go to a retreat, mm, I just say go. Go yeah, for it. Yeah, it's right there kind of in the middle. Well, not really. Yeah. 
Tulsa? Yeah. And it's so different. It's a dry heat. It was hot. Ooh, it had we're used to the humidity the down we here, but we it was were, like open. We were really dry. <laughs> yeah, it was dry. <laughs> okay, so. We so, had a really good time. Mm -hmm. um, but the Silver Needle, uh, we're going to, after this, um, we're going to add all the photos and let you see it. And then behind that, there'll be a few from the Pioneer Woman. Yeah, we had so, a good time doing mm -hmm. that, too. That it was, was great. Nice, so nice it's little a good side trip. It was. So thank you for watching. We hope we didn't take spend too long and um, we will see you soon and take care and we'll be back in a couple weeks. All right. See y'all later. Bye. Bye.